Hey guys, Andrew here. Today I have another chess video and today I want to talk about chess mental calculations and today I have two examples to show you. Both games I had white pieces and so let's get started. So if we take a look at the situation we have on the board you can kind of tell there's a lot of focus on this e5 square. I've got four attackers and if you take note he has three defenders. So at this point in the game I'm thinking alright I should make the exchange I should hopefully go up a pawn and this will be good for me. So let's move through the game. Alright so I start the exchange alright and so this is the critical point in the exchange where I have to decide do I take with the queen or do I take with the bishop. And as you, we find out, I make the wrong decision here and I end up making a bad tactical move and I didn't quite calculate far enough into the future. I, I miscalculated by one step and then we'll see what happens. So I go ahead and exchange with the bishop. He decides to exchange queens and this is as far as I made it in my mental calculations. I was like, all right, we've reached this point. Material is equal, or maybe I'm up one pawn, and all things are good. But not really. All I need to go is one more step further, and I would have seen this move. Rook take bishop, and now what do I do? Nothing. <laughs> so, so obviously this was a poor choice. Let's uh, go back and see what would have happened if I had taken with the queen. So if I take with queen, um, so now is his option to whether or not he wants to accept a queen exchange or he could potentially decline. Um, but let's go, s go ahead and say he exchanges. So he takes, I take. Material is essentially equal and I would have had maybe a decent game compared to what I had when I took with the bishop. All right, so let's move on to my next example. All right, welcome back to my second example. And so in this game, I also had white pieces, and so let's examine the situation. I have just taken a pawn. My last move was capturing with uh, my pawn here. And so at this point, he decides to move his bishop to attack my rook down here. And it's at this point that I notice a good tactic to prevent the capture on the exchange of the bishop for the rook. And it's a simple move of pawn captures on c6. So now, if my opponent captures the rook, I go ahead and capture the knight making the slightly unequal exchange but I also check the king and so now he's forced to move the king and I get to go ahead and take the bishop and I go up a minor piece um, and this is actually what happened in the game my opponent I think was a little bit too focused on what his short-term plan was and wasn't paying attention to what I was doing and in chess is kind of a balance of having more of a long-term plan and making small steps to achieve it, but also uh, taking into account what your opponent is doing, but not to get caught up too much in what your opponent is doing that you lose sight of your plan entirely. And so yeah, that's my video today, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Catch you next time. Bye.